My name is Scotty Moore. I'm an archaeologist. I look into the lives of ancient people by examining dead bodies. My adventures take me to remote and dangerous dig sites around the globe, from the South American Andes to the pyramids of Egypt. But this is just the beginning of my journey. Now I've got to get to the site, find the mummy, and solve this case. I travel across the oceans to isolated islands, uncovering ancient burials. Oh my god. I travel to the glaciers of Iceland to uncover the truth behind a thousand-year-old Viking legend. The Viking sagas are full of stories of blood feuds and vengeance killing. And to the temples of Central America, where I experience ancient rituals and bizarre Maya funeral rites. The Mayans fervently believed that they had to make a sacrifice. So when the droughts came here, the people thought the chalk was angry with them. I ventured deep under the sands of Egypt in search of a mysterious mummy's identity. How did he die? And what does it mean that he was buried in another man's tomb. I can name 206 bones in the human body. I don't think I could name half the things I'm wearing right now. I rappel into the caverns of Belize in search of a missing skull. Wait a second. If it's two people, why is there only one skull here? Looks like we've got quite a mystery here and not much to work with. These are the ultimate cold cases. This is maybe the first time in a thousand years that anyone has touched this body. The problem with solving these mysteries, the clues are buried under thousands of years of dirt and stone. There's no way this could be a regular barrier. It is possible to cut somebody's throat without touching a bone. We find these almost in every sample. Little tiny clues. The stories these bodies reveal are windows to the past. I definitely think this was human sacrifice of the grisliest kind. Why do I subject myself to the jarring roads, oh. the jungle paths, the bugs, the critters, and all the bad? Just yeah. be careful with the tree-step snake. Bite you, then you collapse, and then you die. Nice. These sandstorms are incredibly dangerous. I've got to find some cover now. Because when it comes to archaeology, I wouldn't want to be doing anything else.